hello everyone I'm going to show you how you can make a USB a bootable USB for upgrading your BIOS and the firmware for HP ProLint servers keep in mind if you are making bootable util, uh, bootable USB for Windows it's different for servers it's different and if you are uh, going to update your uh, BIOS and firmware it's a bit a different way I'm going to show you how you can make just take one USB it's uh, about minimum uh, 8 GB because if you are going to uh, take a software of uh, upgrading your BIOS it's up approximately 4 to 5 GB so the USB must be at least uh, 7 8 GB just open your uh, HP website and see there are multiple versions available for this utility and you can also choose for which operating environment you are going to make it's Windows 10 and servers but keep in mind and you can see it's available for Windows 7, 7 but at least for 64 bit not for 32 bit it will not work properly and it's going to terminate the operations uh, and it's going ab about so you need to download the utility and operate on at least 64 bit versions of Windows 7 the utility version 3 is also available and uh, just download this and I will uh, show you in next slide how we can go with the making the USB bootable utility I have uh, downloaded this utility let's uh, we will install this install install okay it's small utility it's installed I have downloaded also uh, latest uh, service pack for um, HP ProLint server see it's 5.3 GB 5.03 GB so your uh, USB must be at least for 8 GB okay open this utility click next agree next and create a bootable USB key from CD DVD it's showing this task will format the USB key and transfer the contents of a supported bootable CD DVD to a USB key the USB key must be larger enough to hold the contents of the CD DVD and there is any other option add an additional CD DVD a bootable USB key uh, we need now this one select the option first and next uh, it's a caution that if you have any data on your uh, flash drive just uh, backup it because it will uh, first um, clean all the data and it will format in the required format to make a bootable uh, USB click next and I have an ISO image select from my desktop and this is, this is my USB key next and it's warning all data on the target USB key will be deleted okay creating the key may take several minutes because it depends on the data how much data it will be right in uh, USB when uh, bootable USB just see it's a uh, 5 GB data more than 5 GB 5.03 GB so click next and wait it's now formatting USB let's see
there are many benefits to uh, updating your server through bootable USB, um, updating BIOS and firmware because um, it's easy and all update will uh, go in one shot like your uh, smart storage array controller BIOS settings and uh, hard disk drive uh, drivers and firmware all the firmware updates will go in just one shot so it's better you can uh, make this uh, USB and uh, update your BIOS and firmware through bootable it will take small time I have uploaded that video and now I am showing you how you can make this utility and uh, through this utility you are making now bootable uh, USB it will take 10 to 5 minutes because it uh, depends on the size of the image of ISO Before uh, making this uh, USB key utility for uh, update your firmware and BIOS for HP servers, you need to be sure the following things will be with you. Uh, number one, uh, download the USB utility for servers from uh, HP website and its version should be 3. There are many versions available, uh, but the version 3 is uh, best working uh, versions available. I am doing this uh, now version uh, 3. Keep in mind that other point that your operating system should be 64 bit. If you will make this USB utility from Windows, if you are using from uh, using Windows 7, it should be 64 bit download also uh, latest service pack available from HP site for uh, BIOS and firmware update for your servers so keep ready these uh, things with you uh, just see the size of uh, latest service pack if it's uh, suppose uh, mm, uh, size is 5 GB your utility should be your uh, USB should be at least 6 GB having capacity so it can uh, manage the storage of service pack uh, download this and it's going on it's in front of you just keep the things in mind uh, just for your reminders let's wait for when it's uh, when it will be completed all the warnings you will get that uh, all data will be deleted it will format the your usb and then it will make uh, bootable usb i'm again reminding that you can make uh, bootable usb for windows as well but 
you can use other utilities it's a bit different there are many utilities available we are going to wait let's see when it will complete and uh, it will uh, hopefully be soon now it is uh, the usb key is now ready to be used i will click on